Hello everyone, in this tutorial I will show you how to change the Google Play Games SDK version. The reason why I wanted to change it is that I encountered a problem with the Google plugin version 11.1 .1 and I will show you how to fix it. I have previously installed Glay package and set up the Glay service window with all the details from Google Play console. I have imported Google Play Games SDK, the latest version, at the moment that is 11.1. .1. Then I set a platform to Android, check the bundle, I verified that the scripting defined symbol is recorded in the player settings, and I added a testing scene. After pressing force resolve button for Android and waited for a bit, two warnings appeared. Due to them, the project either failed at build or the login didn't work at all on the device. It is okay if the login status is false in the Unity editor. We should firstly download the app from the store via tester's link, what I'll show you later on. To make it work, let's change the Google Play Games SDK version. Let's start with a clean delete. In the player settings, delete the Use Google Play Games plugin. Then delete the files that you imported with it. External Dependency Manager, Google Play Games, and Plugins. But be careful if you have other plugins, example AdMob, delete only what you imported with this SDK. Let's proceed with downloading another version from GitHub. Go to Releases. I personally chose version 10.14 because it works as intended. Download it to your computer, unzip the necessary file, and import all the files to your project. After importing all the files, make sure to press save in Glay window, and continue with the force resolve as I did in the beginning. Observe that with this version, the console does not have any warnings, so we can prepare the bill. Let's verify the bundle number. It should be bigger than the last release. Moreover, don't forget to sign your application with your own key. And we are ready to bill. If you encounter the metadata error, then deselect the platform in the Google Play Games manifest and rebuild your project. Alright, Unity implementation is done. Let's continue with console setup. Create a new release. Upload the AAB file. Add a name to your release. And a short description if you want. Press save. And then press review release. You're ready to start rollout to internal testing. Download the app via tester's link, like I'm showing you right now. Accept the invitation. And open Google Play. Install on more devices. And select your own device. You'll be asked probably to sign in again. And then you'll be ready to test the test scene included in Glay package on a real Android device. I have previously installed Play Games app, that's the reason why the Google API shows when I press Show Achievements UI.
Notice that the score will not be instantly submitted to the leaderboard, it will take from hours to day in testing. You reached the end of my tutorial. Thank you for watching, feel free to leave any comments below and if you enjoyed my tutorial, hit the like button and subscribe to Clay Games channel.